much has been said already. I'm not sure that uh, a whole lot else needs to be said. But I would point out that uh, I think uh, that there's a couple of things that were mentioned in the morning about uh, the successful Obama. And I think uh, this whole discussion that we are having is obviously because of uh, Obama's success in the recent elections and how he is inspiring more change to take place. Uh, are we going to change or not? It's obviously the question that we have to ask ourselves. I hope that uh, we are agreed on the idea that we have to change. Otherwise, if we continue to travel the same course, then things are not going to be any different for us. Brother, uh, I think uh, Abhi Khan mentioned this morning that uh, it was the vision that Obama had that was critical to his success. The vision of universality, the vision of change, these are important aspects of a vision that I think uh, are, are very critical for the success of anyone. And Obama obviously uh, was no exception. But beyond the vision itself, there is something else that I think is important. And Obama had capitalized on it. It was his capacity to communicate. Now, all of us have the understanding that we have a message. The Quran is obviously, uh, from time immemorial, has been a clear vision of how people should live their lives. Why is it that we are having so much trouble in being successful even though we have that clear message? And I would submit the reason for our failure is our inability to communicate with clarity that message to the people and to the society that we live in. If we can somehow get our capacities to communicate that message that is in the Quran with clarity, with uh, understanding of simplicity, the way Obama did, the way he explained things, was much better than the opposing candidate was able to do. He was very clear on his positions. He was very clear on the position of Iraq. And when it came to the fact that Iraq was no longer the issue, he was very clear on the economy and what it entailed. And before that, he was very clear on the choices for health care. So I think it is important for us to not only memorize the Quran, as uh, everybody seems to be doing that, but also to understand and comprehend the message. And then after understanding the message, then perhaps go on to explaining it in the interfaith community or maybe more in the intra-faith community. Now, how do we communicate this message once we have understood? So there's a basic level of understanding and then the question of communication. We have talked about the Juma Khutbah as being a very powerful <coughs> medium and a very powerful tool in our community to communicate. We are probably not benefiting from that. We are probably not utilizing the maximum advantage in that particular setting. That's number one. Number two, I think, we are not communicating enough through the current modes of communication that we have. I give you the example of uh, radio, and I give you the example of television. There was Brother Yusuf Marai this morning who was here, and he's probably broadcasting part of this pro uh, program that we are doing in the morning in the program that he is doing in the afternoon on the radio. Uh, Dr. Mujahid Ghazi does a program every week, and Islam, uh, I think uh, Radio Islam is a program that goes on too. But there is a need for us to do much more than that. Uh, the print media is obviously there, but I think the electronic media through emails, through internet, is much more powerful and we need to capitalize on that. If you are not on those methods by which people are communicating today, we are going to be left behind. Our Islamic centers, for instance, you can call anytime, and I will challenge you how many times you are going to get a response on the telephone. The telephone is not picked up, the communication is totally broken down, and so here is the only institution that we have, the only Muslim institution that has survived after half a century of our work in this community. And we don't have a communication medium that is working for us in that particular uh, institution. So I think the television is another one. 
But I think if you listen to the talk radio shows, and if you listen to Rush Limbaugh and all of these guys, they make a terrific impact. And they make an impact through radio, not through television. Television is very costly, radio is much cheaper, we need to go there. Now in the television, I think we need to capitalize on Comcast, which offers us the opportunity to do free uh, television programs through their uh, community service uh, promotions. And we have not done that. So it is easy for people like uh, Abed to ask us, how can we get involved? There are loads and loads of opportunity for those who want to get involved. Community Builders is a small little organization that we started several years ago. Because of the frustrations that we felt we had to experience in our masajids, in our mosques, in our Islamic centers. And I must say that all of us are very intimately connected with masajids and mosques in our own lives. But I think those mosques and those Islamic centers need to come up to a level that would match up with the needs that we have in the present day and present circumstances. And if that does not happen, then again I think other organizations like Iman are going to come in, like Care Chicago are going to come in, and Puma Center, for instance, in Waukegan is going to come up and fill that gap and then provide the services. Now here is another program that I think we have been doing called the Compassionate Care Network. You know that there are 50 million people that are uninsured in the country now. It used to be 45 million, I used to say, but now that number keeps going up. And there is no hope for those people that don't have any health insurance because there is no access to affordable health care for them. Our community can do a lot more because we have the resources, the technical capacity of doing that. And we've been doing that. We've been providing this program and I encourage some of you who are not familiar with it to take this handbook and then uh, understand how you can get involved. The other program that I think is a powerful communication tool is a Yellow Pages for the Muslim community. There is a need for us. You go to all of these Islamic centers and people are throwing their pamphlets all around about the promotion of their businesses. And our businesses are suffering because there's no way that the businesses can connect with the people in the community. And in Yellow Pages is a concept that we have promoted for the past several years whereby we have a professional section in there, we have a retail section in there, and we have a community section in there. You should take a look at that and use it. If you need a physician, if you need a lawyer, if you need an insurance person, let us use our own people first. If you don't find them here, then go find somebody else in the regular Yellow Pages. But here is an opportunity for you to get involved with, if you want to get involved with. The third program that uh, we're doing is the Community Builders. Community Builders is basically an open platform, just like what you're doing over here. It started with, again, the Abid Bhai was uh, instrumental in uh, as a founding member of that. But I think, again, there is a need for us to have these kind of sessions on a regular basis. It should not be that we should have this once a year or twice a year, but these are the programs that we have set up for the first Friday of every month in Skokie at the Holiday Inn. You're all invited to come and join if you can, between 7 to 10. Air your issues that you have, discuss the problems that you think are needing to be discussed, and present a, a, a practical solution to the problem that you feel that you're experiencing. And we would like to do this thing again in the suburbs too. We have another program in Downers Grove that we do on the third Saturday of every month. Please, again, if you are interested in these programs, find out some more from me and we'll talk about that some more. But again, I think uh, I'm not going to get into this uh, a lot more here. Thank you very much for your attention. I'm uh, sure that uh, we're going to be listening to the main speaker for the afternoon that's going to be so interesting. Thank you. Again.